The conflict in Ukraine has reached a dangerous new chapter. American weapons are striking Russian territories. The Biden administration's silent approval is marking a dramatic shift in policy and could have ripple effects across the geopolitical landscape. Take a look. The red lines have been crossed. American missiles are striking Russian territory. Ukraine's use of US supplied Atacams ignites global tensions. As the West stays silent, Russia is fuming. Within hours of receiving US approval, Ukraine fired six Atacams missiles deep into Russian territory. Moscow confirms five were shot down over the Bryansk region, but warns of grave consequences. This bold move shatters the long-held Western policy of restraining Ukraine from striking Russia, a move Russia has repeatedly said could trigger direct conflict with NATO. US President Joe Biden dodged questions at the G20 summit in Brazil. Neither the White House nor the Pentagon has confirmed key strikes. I don't have anything to announce or to confirm at this time. Um, if we have more to share publicly, we will do so. Um, that being said, just taking a step back to, you know, answer kind of broad strokes to some of your questions, um, let's not forget where we are. And that is the fact that Russia chose to escalate this war um, by introducing DPRK forces into the battlefield and into the fight. Um, and so what we are doing is, as we have been from the very beginning, is ensuring that Ukraine has what it needs. Zelensky also isn't clearly spelling out that Ukrainian forces fired American missiles on Russian territory. France and UK, who have been pushing Washington over the past few months to allow Kyiv to strike deep inside Russia, are also tight-lipped. Look, let me just say that I don't want to be drawn on the use of long-range missiles, and that because is because it risks operational security, and it can only play into the hands of Putin and I will do nothing to play into the hands of Putin. Germany has refused to arm Ukraine with Taurus missiles, fearing an escalation. I have explained very clearly why I do not consider the delivery of Taurus cruise missiles, which are what we use in Germany to be the right thing to do. While NATO member Hungary publicly condemns the move, warning of the risks of pushing Moscow too far. This is an incredibly dangerous decision. This is a very dangerous idea, with which there is an extremely grave danger of war escalating further. The timing of this escalation raises questions, with President-elect Donald Trump set to take office in two months. Biden appears determined to arm Ukraine, ensuring all approved funding and weapons are delivered before the handover. Trump's promise to broker a swift end to the conflict has added urgency to Biden's approach, despite concerns that these actions could backfire. Bureau Report, we on World is One. For more on this, we were earlier joined by Professor James A. Russell from Monterey. He is an associate professor in the Department of National Security Affairs at NPS. Here's what he had to say. Well, uh, let's just, all we can do in the international community uh, is hope that, that is not the case, that the Russians um, uh, uh, exercise caution, recognize that these systems are not going to alter the course of the war, and that they're in extremely strong position. They're winning on the battlefield. But, but this begs the question, why would the Biden administration have put the onus on the Russians uh, 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 like this, uh, to, to respond, to stay faced in this extremely dangerous situation in which the Russians themselves uh, several days ago enunciate a new, new nuclear doctrine um, where they basically are publicly stating um, that they are lowering the threshold for the consideration under which they will use tactical nuclear weapons. So what does the Biden administration does? They've created circumstances that could lead to this. The first use of nuclear weapons since Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 
And I am uh, appalled and aghast at the decisions that the Biden administration has taken that has placed, it's, it's not just the Ukrainians, this is the world <laughs> we're talking about, nuclear use, the use of nuclear weapons. And, and uh, the, the Russian foreign minister was pretty clear about this. Uh, uh, I think it was today, you know, somebody stuck a microphone in front of him and he said, this is a qualitative different situation. Um, and we are going to respond appropriately to this. And the Russians have the Russians have been very open and honest with us about this, which, which, which you in your excellent report noted, which is that these red lines have now been crossed and and uh, it puts the onus on the Russians to respond and places us, the international community, and as and you know, into hoping <laughs> that you know sanity prevails. Uh, and I, as I said, I, I just cannot fathom why the Biden administration took these steps. Um, uh, two two weeks ago, the British foreign uh, the British foreign minister was in uh, uh, in Washington, and uh, uh, we reaffirmed that we were not going to allow these long range weapons to be striking inside Russia. Yep.